All right, hi, I'm Daniel Glauser, and I'll be talking about SVGs and PDS, but in the end, I'm trying to show you a technique for um, delivering fancy reports, fancy uh, PDF-based reports in your application. So the project that I'd like to talk to you about um, uses deep learning on the Ethereum network to um, measure the rate of Arctic glacial melt. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We, um, we're working on business systems. Uh, specifically, we're working on financial-based business systems. And the project I'd really like to int introduce you to is called Aerialize. It is a um, financial modeling system focused on aircraft uh, valuation and trading of commercial aircraft. <clears throat> and uh, for that system, we, we think we made some nice looking charts and um, we're, we're proud of that work on the web. And so a uh, great client of ours came to us and said, can you take this nice work that you've done and give me a custom PDF report with all the aircraft information in there? Thought, yeah, no problem, that should be easy. It's a great library called PDF Boxing. I can stick a map in there, it'll transform, put things in a PDF form, done, no problem. Then he said, what about the charts? And that's when things got a little interesting. So how do we get the charts into the, so he asked us to get the charts into the, into the reports, and so we did. And that's the end of my talk, thanks. <laughs> You're probably wondering how we did it. So let's talk about the code. <clears throat> We're using uh, reagent, reframe, uh, somewhat common pieces on the front end, and we're using a library called High Charts. Um, high Charts, in their documentation, they talk about all these different ways you can ship code up to a server or, uh, or a hosted server solution, and it kind of looks like it might do this job, but it did not work for us. It was just a different use case than the one we were trying to solve. We wanted control over that raw chart data and not a packaged High chart solution. So luckily we could extract a raw SVG. Um, from there we stick it in a multi-part forum upload um, and using some built-in stuff with Reframe, we post it up to the server. <clears throat> then once you're on the server, we use the Apache's Botic, uh, a wrapper around Apache's Botic library to take that SVG and render it in the temp directory to uh, PNGs. We had to play a bit with quality and scale. I was surprised at how much we had to scale this up to get non-fuzzy charts. So that's a little pro tip right there. Um, then from there, uh, I actually tore this function out of PDF boxing because it almost did what I wanted but didn't quite and haven't had a chance to submit a PR into, into that library to help but I swear I will like right after the conch. Um, <laughs> But what this does is um, it allows you to take a map of this, in this case, the aircraft data, and match the keys up with um, names of your fi form fields in the PDF and replace those values. It's really easy and nice to use, and I've used it on other projects as well. What it wasn't doing was flattening the PDF afterwards. So that's this piece right there. And if you don't flatten it, it is still a form with replaceable fields so someone could edit it, and no one here likes mutable data. Do they? All right, good, I'm in the right place. Um, so are we done? <laughs> no, we're not done. How do you get the report back into the browser? The person wants to see it, they wanna interact with it. Um, I originally and foolishly tried, why don't I return the raw data as PDF from my HGV call? And that did not work out so well because it was really hard to figure out how to actually render that into the page. But most browsers have a PDF handling type plugin built in, Chrome definitely does. And I think, I, I haven't fully surveyed the landscape, but I, I suspect across most OSs and stuff, you're in pretty good shape if you just let the browser render the PDF. So we stuck it up on S3 in a private bucket and generated a temporary pre-signed URL that would expire after a certain amount of time, and we returned that URL in our HTTP call back to the browser. Once we're back in the browser world, we um, put it in an iframe, and voila, you have a PDF report. 
whole process takes about six seconds, um, which it, competing software takes on orders of minutes uh, to do certain types, to do similar types of report building. So we think we are well ahead of the game there. And um, there's probably some room to optimize it, but we're right now happy with that level of performance. And that's what I have for you. So beat my six minutes. Um, Daniel Glauser of Cambium Consulting. Come talk to me if you want to learn more about PDF Fun. Thank you.